now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Let's start tonight with a modern mechanical weather picture of the day because it's a picture that shows what's been happening over the past several days. You see a decent sunshine here over Lake Lowell, but to the north and to the east over the Boise Front and Elmore County, heavy showers and storms. This is from a couple of days ago. Great shot sent in by Jerry Slobov of, of Nampa. Thanks to send that in the modern mechanical weather picture of the day. If you've got a photo you'd like to send it to us, you can send it to I contribute at KIVITV.com. Now the picture a little bit closer to the Boise Front shows those clouds increasing during the day today. We had sunshine early and then the clouds began to increase and we had the heavy rain. Eastern Ada County gets some heavy rains, uh, not in the rest of Ada County, but boy, gusty winds came through this evening. We've had gusts over 35 miles per hour. Wind coming out of those storms. That is likely tomorrow and there's a chance that some of those storms could move right into the Treasure Valley. Uh, Ada County specifically is what I'm talking about. It has been dry and so a much bigger population could get some of these very heavy rains tomorrow. I'm going to keep a close eye on this. It may May stay to the east, but early afternoon that may be the case. Here's the village at Meridian, uh, half price Tuesdays, I believe, at the village. A popular day today and very comfortable temperature, 73 degrees. But look at this southeast wind still 22 miles an hour. We've got a lot of cool air, and that cooler is rushing down to the ground out of those showers and storms and shooting up to the north and west. So that southeast wind, that's the direction it comes from, continues. And so gusty winds this evening. You might even get a shower, a stray shower after midnight tonight, but for the most part, that's not going to be the case. But boy, what a Weird day temperature wise. 73 for the high temperature in Twin today, 88 in Boise, 98 in Ontario for that high today. Hot and dry weather here to the west. This has been the line of showers and storms. This is going to continue tomorrow. This is finally going to give way. Reno again, two consecutive days in the mid 60s. These showers will push to the northeast, but everything is still going to come through and it may swing back in over the rest of the Treasure Valley or parts of the Treasure Valley as you move on through. So uh, let's see if I can get to the other computer. Can we switch over to the WSI computer? I want to show some charts coming up here. And what you'll notice is some very heavy rain here down to the south and to the east, but the drier weather to the west. We've still got one flash flood warning actually expiring now, but north of Nevada, that is the case. 71 in Mountain Home, still 65 in Twin. Over an inch of rain falling in Twin Falls in the last 24 hours. You've been getting a soaking. You're going to continue to get a soaking. Look at that moisture just streaming in from the north and to the east around Mountain Home. There's Twin right there with the rain showers. It is humid with showers and thunderstorms coming in, but that dividing line is right here, right just west of Mountain Home. It is drier here. That drier air working its way into Boise. Still humid for our standards, but it's certainly not nearly as humid as what's been here. This may shift a little bit further to the west as we move through the day tomorrow, and that's what could be giving us the issue with more showers and storms pushing in towards Boise County, uh, Bo uh, Ada County, but still the flash flood watch you see here in the mountains to the north and to the south here through the day on Wednesday. Satellite picture shows that moisture continuing to spin around one low near Twin, another one here. This will set up again tomorrow, and when you take a look at the future cast, here's what we see. This is the latest future Cast. Just downloaded this here. We'll look at it together tomorrow morning. Again, sunshine early, but there are the rain showers. It's later in the afternoon. This is what could develop, and it could push into Boise. And if it does, it'll come out of nowhere, out of the Northeast Mountains, and that's what could create the issue. Treasure Valley forecast looks like this 91 in Ontario. 87 in Boise. Watch out just after noon, 2, 3 o'clock as well. Showers and storms possible. Ada County eastward. While in the West Central Mountains, it has been dry. It will continue to stay dry with sunshine. Beautiful weather up at Payette Lake, but heavy showers around Pine and Featherville, Atlanta. Again, Idaho City could get those showers and storms. In the Magic Valley, heavy rain continues tonight. More heavy showers tomorrow. Watch out for the potential for flash flooding if you're in one of those prone areas, even overnight tonight, although conditions are getting a little bit better as the rainfall rates are slowing down. My extended forecast shows 87 for the high tomorrow, hotter to the west, a better chance for a few showers. I don't think we'll see them in Ada County tonight. During the day on Thursday, we dry things out, and as we head into the weekend, the sunshine really starts to increase. Even on Friday, we'll be getting that. So tomorrow's that day that Ada County may share in some of the wetter weather. Yeah, if you get stuck under those dark clouds. You know it. You know it's it. coming Definitely. down. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, right. Scott. Scott. And I don't